Hi everyone, welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. I'm very excited about today's video. I've been wanting to shoot this one for a while. I was very fortunate and one tiger sent me this uh, tactical vest harness for Kupec and uh, we want to show it to you guys today. That just looks cool. So, Kupek looks like he's uh, settled in to chill out for a bit after the walk-in. Uh, the first thing uh, I wanted to show you guys was this pouch on the side here. Um, this here I've got uh, his food in. There's room along the side of the vest you know, to put a couple of these pouches uh, if need be. So I wanted to show you guys that one. Yeah, so it's just a little single flat pouch. Heavy duty uh, Velcro. It's like a four and a half inch Velcro patch there and fits a standard sandwich size Tupperware or Rubbermaid of any brand, no name or otherwise. Uh, full of kibble. Slides right in there. I like that one so that he can carry his his own food. And I've just got a little morale patch on there and uh, the One Tigress branded patch that comes with it. Uh, you can see since he's sitting there nice and calm you can see all the, the mole webbing down the side uh, for putting additional pouches on. Uh, I've also got ordered from a local uh, embroidery company a big name patch for him for the back here. And while he's sitting there, I'll mention these harness points too. Tactical harness points, like if he had to be lowered uh, in case of an emergency, or if he was uh, if he was a service dog, be able to use that to lower him into an area or extract him. So that's pretty neat there too. Heavy, heavy, heavy construction, and it's mesh lined. I'll just uh, focus on that for you. So that's comfortable for him. It allows it to breathe. It's got a floating mesh layer. Yeah, so uh, I'll bring bring the camera around and show you the other pouch. That's the one I'm really excited to show you guys. One of the biggest purposes of why I wanted this vest, in addition to Kupek being able to carry his own supplies, uh, like food and water, I wanted to be able to set him up with a first aid kit. So I'm going to detach that from the harness and uh, show you guys what's in there. So here it is. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. I went and picked up uh, a little morale patch to indicate uh, that this was the first aid kit. Uh, you can get these at any lo local embroidery shop. Sometimes they have them pre-made. Uh, sometimes you have to custom order them. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna snap her open. There's a, a large pouch on the outside that I've got some dressing in. Now, I wanna say this before I get it out. Uh, most first aid kits that you'll buy, in my opinion, uh, for humans, they're understocked in the first place. They're for minor cuts and scrapes. If you're gonna have an injury with a dog, it's probably gonna be uh, a puncture or a trauma or an injury to a leg. So most of what I've stocked this with would be for treating uh, limbs, paws, or puncture wounds in the, in the abdomen. So in the front pouch here, I have um, a clotting sponge. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with these products. Uh, this one's by Adventure Medical Quick Kits. And this is a quick clot clotting sponge. Uh, so in a waterproof package uh, foil container, I like that a lot so that it can, uh, you know, not get damaged until I need to use it. I mean, it could be in there for years, hopefully, and never used. And these are great. These are for heavy trauma or puncture wounds. Uh, they hold a clot against the wound so that it, uh, the, uh, the blood doesn't run out. And you don't have to change the bandage uh, like you would with others. Uh, I have a few Steri strips in here as well. Uh, 3M Steri strips, probably more for me than for him because uh, they may not stick very well to his hair, but they might work uh, like in the pads of his feet, I was thinking, on his paws. So those are in there too. And those are both uh, in their own waterproof containers, so that's why I put them uh, on the outside of the pouch. Let's get into the uh, inside of the pouch here and I'll, I'll show you what I've packed. 
Okay, so the first thing you'll see is uh, bandages. So these aren't for uh, dressing the wounds, these are just for wrapping them up. Uh, these flexible bandages uh, I got with the intention of uh, injuries or wounds on his, his limbs. Uh, they're about five foot long each and they're kind of self-adhesive, they grip to themselves. So after you uh, cleaned and dressed a wound, uh, you could wrap the dressing onto the wound with these bandages. In addition, for uh, larger scrapes on the limbs or uh, injuries to the abdomen, this is a five meter uh, elastic bandage. So five meters, you know, approximately 15 feet uh, with the, the little clips should be able to uh, wrap any dressings that you need to uh, around the abdomen or uh, lung puncture or anything like that. So that's what I was thinking with this. Um, on with the first day before I get into a few of the other things. Um, hydrogen peroxide uh, for cleaning any wounds or scrapes as well as uh, polysporin. This is polysporin complete. It's got three different um, antibacterials. No, no, excuse me, three different um, antibiotics uh, as well as a pain relief. It's got, uh, I think it's a lidocaine for a pain relief in there. So that's good. And I also have, um, for his drinking needs, I have 25 water purification tablets. Uh, the thought behind that is, you know, the dog's not going to be able to carry uh, the weight in water uh, that he'd need to drink even for a, a day or two. So with his food bowl here, I can use the Aquatabs water purification tablets uh, to prepare uh, drinking water for him as needed. And that's not so much a first aid item as it is just a, an everyday item or an overnight item. So he packs his own water purification and food. Now these glow sticks I thought were a good idea and these carabiners. I figured uh, nighttime if you're out with them and he was off the leash we could take these carabiners, probably have to widen the holes a bit, there we go, and uh, be able to attach the glow stick to his collar or to the uh, the harness point. This would make uh, him a lot more visible at night whether you're out hiking or you know, whether you're car camping with the kids or whatever, just uh, just in case he got off the leash or got away from you, you'd have these glow stick options. I thought that was neat, so I put those in there. You're laying right in the way, aren't you, dog? Well, back to the first aid, um, I also packed uh, plenty of dressings. So in addition to a triangular bandage as additional uh, bandaging, um, I've got five or six uh, triple layer non-stick compression pads uh, for actually dressing any wounds. So I think it's a, a well-appointed uh, first aid kit for a dog. Um, it's mainly focused on like heavy trauma and I think you know even uh, typical first aid kits uh, don't focus enough on trauma. They're mainly put together you know for cuts and scrapes and bumps. Uh, they're not they're not really put together to take care of uh, heavy bleeding and things like that. So I think this is great for him, but I think it also uh, would come in handy for myself uh, or any other you know people that I'd be out hiking with, camping with, and Kupek would have it with him, uh, like I say, not only for his own needs, uh, but for mine or any other members of the party. Hungry? Yeah, yeah. Again, like I mentioned, uh, his food bowl doubles as a water dish too. There you go, buddy. Don't need to purify it or anything today because I, I brought this with me from the house with my own survival pack. Hey guys, I also wanted to show you the uh, control leash that uh, one tiger sent me. Uh, a couple of the features on this leash, actually there's three main features. Uh, that I really like that stood out to me. Uh, I guess I'll start on this side and work that way. Um, the first feature is it comes with this uh, round um, carabiner. It's like a like a rectangular rounded side carabiner. Now the purpose for that is to control the length of the leash. 
uh, with it attached in the in the first little webbing loop there you can bring the carabiner and shorten the leash uh, by a significant amount now I would say you've got about 10 inches uh, to work with there there's your original length uh, bring it together and you basically take about 10 inches uh, out of the leash so that's handy uh, I usually have it out uh, just give him as much room to work as he wants now the next feature I like is the shock cord uh, here the webbing is uh, bunched up with an elastic uh, section in it and it gives you uh, about again about 10 inches of stretch there and what I like about that is uh, when you're training with them and stuff and walking them and stuff it gives them uh, in my opinion I'm not a professional dog trainer at all um, just read what I found on the internet and applied what I thought sounded right but what I like about this is you know sometimes a dog tries to run or tries to go one way or the other uh, that you don't intend them to and this gives them a, a little bit of uh, room like a gentle hint you know he doesn't snap to the end of the leash if he starts to steer off he feels this gentle tug uh, back towards the way I'm guiding him uh, I like that as opposed to you know snapping on the leash um, or if like I say if he tried to bolt off it gives a, a little bit of a you know slack before it snaps tight which it does uh, you know it's not gonna he's not gonna get away from you uh, but I like that feature and the third feature uh, on this leash is this uh, control handle right here and this is my absolute favorite uh, feature of the leash because again completely docile uh, family flock dog leave him out with your chickens he would guard mice you know he he's gonna bond with whatever he's out there with and he's not gonna hurt them that's the kind of dog they are uh, but because you know of the appearance like his size and stuff like that in an urban setting I don't want anybody to get nervous so I, I like to be able to get uh, right close up control right behind his neck so that you know he's not he doesn't have a lot of room uh, especially if someone's going by on the sidewalk or something like that this leash gives me the option uh, to get a hold of them right uh, close up uh, as well as the handle points on on the harness so uh, this here uh, goes for uh, $15 $14 and change on the one tigers website I'll provide you the the link in the description I also thought I'd mention uh, the price on the harness. The harness comes in a variety of sizes from like small to double XL and depending on the size it goes from 79 and change to 89 and change and I think those are Canadian dollars because I, I would have looked at uh, Canadian or American I'm not sure don't quote me but I'll put the link in the description go to their site there at One Tigers and and check the the prices in your your local uh, dollars. I should also mention it actually comes with a third pouch um, the harness setup for that that price comes with the harness uh, as well as the, the what I'm using for the food pouch and the first aid kit but it also comes with a third pouch I kind of stole it <laughs> it's my uh, EDC pouch now it's uh, oh probably uh, you know two to two and a half inches wide uh, six inches tall and about uh, four and a half inches wide it has um, nice zipper opening and it has a, a front pouch and a main pouch and I'm basically using it for my EDC now it gave me a little bit more room to carry uh, a few more options and uh, I'll probably do a new EDC video uh, sometime in the future so that's just about gonna wrap it up uh, here today for me and Kupek again that's the one Tigris uh, tactical vest and training harness I think it's a great option uh, for your dog especially if you spend any time in the bush that's why I uh, was interested in it and so excited to bring it to you guys because you know we've been out here for a couple hours I uh, found some chanterelle mushrooms you know we walked around and he was able to carry all his own needs you know and all I really had to carry uh, was this you know in case I wanted to have a cup of tea or you know whatever had to stay out here for a month <laughs> but you get the point you know he's he's prepared for his own first aid needs he had food with him he had a water dish with him and we were able to uh, take care of his basic needs without me having to carry anything uh, additional he looked really cool while he was doing it it's a high quality product at a great price and I really think you guys should look into it and I was really happy to uh, bring it to you guys today so again that's gonna wrap it up uh, for me and Kupek thanks for joining me here at Outdoor Adventure Craft 
uh, please uh, subscribe, like the videos, comment, open a dialogue with me and, and other viewers. As well, check out my website at www.outdooradventurecraft.com uh, for full articles and more information about our day out here today, as well as pictures and things like that. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.